for today's video I'm going to show you how I'm going to cap my sprinkler line so basically I'm doing a project right here it's gonna be a garden wall right here and my garden wall is going to end here and then after that I'm going to convert this into a synthetic grass so basically I'm not gonna need the sprinklers anymore that's running from here all the way to the end so what i did is i went to the last sprinkler that i'm going to need it's basically this one right here and i know that the pipe is going this way so what i did is i just dig right here and find the uh, last pipes so if you look at the uh, sprinkler system right here it has a t-joint right here one goes to the sprinkler where basically I wanted to keep this and then this part here is connected right over here so what I did is I cut that off so I cut that thing off and what I'll do is I'm going to glue this part right here so to cap the end of this pipe what I'm going to be using is a PVC cap this is I got from a uh, Home Depot I think about 60 cents and this is a three-quarter inch and also uh, a purple primer and a regular PVC cement from OT so I've been using this for a long time now and it hasn't really failed me yet so this thing actually stains so uh, you can wear a glove if you need to but um, for me I'll be fine right now. I don't have any gloves, so I'm just gonna go be careful with it. So to use this product, what you want to do is use the purple primer first. And basically you want to go around this a couple of times. So let's do that now. Okay. So I'm just gonna go around this. Maybe about five times. Okay, and then I'm going to be doing the same at the inside of this cap, okay, And what this does is it actually softens the uh, PVC material and that's what actually um, prepares your PVC to accept the glue so that when you put them together it's going to actually bond it into one piece not just glue it okay so the next step will be putting in the glue okay so I'm gonna be putting the glue inside this and also right here around here okay and then what you want to do is you want to push this thing in and twist it at least a quarter uh, turn so push it in and twist it to make sure that all the bubbles are removed okay and then you want to push it in for a couple of seconds so you want to count up to 30 seconds because if you don't this thing is gonna pop out so 30 seconds should be good enough okay and now you can let go so that's basically it so you hold it for 30 seconds and then once you once you are done you just have to wait about uh, according to here you want to wait for 15 minutes for good handling strength and two hours cure time at a temperature above 60 degree Fahrenheit uh, before testing it up to 180 psi okay so if you want longer cure time it will be a lot better I hope you like this video please make sure to click the like and subscribe button to help my channel thank you